Alrighty, well, it's Thursday afternoon, 1.30 in the afternoon. Remember when I said I was going to bed early last night? Gonna wake up early today and get shit done? Well, that kind of sort of didn't happen. You expected it, don't worry, I know you did. Anyway, we got some stuff to do today, some stuff to talk about today and other things. I don't have to go to the grocery store and get food because the girlfriend actually went and did groceries yesterday. So that's a freaking bonus. Ugh. Something's bugging me in my nose, it's all stuffy. Probably this friggin' stupid weather we're having. Eh, you know how it is. And welcome to my vlog. So yeah, I'm just, usually when I get up in the morning, first thing I do is I go take the dog out because he's got to, you know, do his business. His badness. He's got to do his business. So, take him outside, let him do his business. Then usually I have a cigarette while he's out there doing his business. And then, uh, you know, I usually ponder on what we're going to do today and stuff. And, and I'm like, huh, you know, probably just take it easy because it's pissing rain out and it looks like shit and, you know, well, stuff like that. So, then I come back in the house and decide to go use the washer myself to uh, relieve all the backed up pressure from, you know, 12 hours of sleeping and stuff. And I check my phone and I get an email. The email is actually from... One second. It is from Car Domain. Yeah, back in the day I had a Car Domain people. I was one of them people. Yeah, I know. I know. Probably a lot of you have Car Domains too. But I have them for my tempo. So, but anyway, steering off target. And they decided to post the new pictures of the 2015 Ford Mustang. Now these are only rendered pictures. They're not final products or anything, just an artist rendition type thing. Yeah, I don't know what to say about them. I'm going to show you the picture now. And you can be the judge on what you think. So this is the front that you're looking at now. And this is the rear that you're looking at now. Now, okay, you know what? It's cool. It's a Mustang. I'll give them that. But honestly, it looks like a Ford Mustang, a Honda Accord Coupe, a Hyundai Genesis, and a Aston Martin DB9 all got together in a vodka-infused drunken rage orgy, and this is the bastard child they shit out. That's what I gotta say about it. I still say the best version of the Mustang is the one they released in 2010, the boxy one. Not this one that's out right now. I'm not really a fan of that one, but I really like that other Mustang, the 2009-2010 model, when they first went back to the retro look. That was my favorite of all times. That one was just beautiful. But, you know, to each their own. What do you think of this? What do you guys think of this freaking Mustang? Does it look like shit? Does it look epic? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Do you want to punch it in the face? Do you wish, uh, you know, when the Mustang was pregnant with this thing, it would have got an abortion? What's your, what's your thing? Like, let me know in the comments below. Anyway, I gotta go do things. Let's rock and roll. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that little cartoon I made of the cars friggin' giving her and a little car coming out. It's interesting to see what they're doing with cars nowadays, eh? Making them all freaking rounded and bubbly and stuff. And Like you look at my Trans Am and, you know, she's bubbly but she's kind of boxy too. She has sharp edges. Where you look at the new Camaro for instance. Such a bubbly car! Frig is it ever. I find it funny though, when you look at cars from the past, where how... North America was all boxy, but in Europe it was all bubbly. And then we got our cars all bubbly, and Europe went all boxy. I don't know if it's we're trying to follow them or they're trying to follow us, but all in all it's freaking hilarious. It's, it's fun to watch. But um, yeah, I don't know about this new Mustang. I'm kind of anxious to see what they do with the Camaro. And the uh, I hope they don't change the Challenger. It's beautiful the way it is. That car is just immaculate. I think Dodge wins for catching the classic style uh, of like the old fashioned car, Dodge wins, hands down. The Charger, or the Challenger today and the Challenger back then, exact same car. It's just been modernized, but it's beautiful. I don't know, you guys be the judge. Out of the three pony cars that are out today, which one is your favorite? I'm a big fan of the Dodge Challenger. I love the Chevy Camaro. It's a beautiful car too, but I like it better with the Firehawk upgrade. That's where you can make it look like the 1979 Trans Am. Yeah, love that one. That's beautiful. Frig yeah. I would love to have my hands on one of those. I'd be so happy. I'd, I'd be so happy. But the problem with the Camaro is I don't think you can drive it in the winter because they come with 20 inch rims and apparently you have to run a minimum of like 20 inch rims on them to clear the braking system. So it's basically that's just a toy. 
a really expensive toy. <laughs> if you buy the V8, if you buy the V6, it's not too bad. But you can probably get winters for the V6 because I don't think they use the same braking system. I could be wrong on that, but so don't quote me. But um, I know everybody who buys those Camaros, you never see them rocking out in the winters because they would just rot big time up here. Oh, frig yeah! Oh, frig yeah! Let me tell you the snow, the salt. All the crap they dump on the roads. Oh, you would just destroy that poor car. Big times. So big times, let me know in the comments below. What's your favorite pony car? Mustang? Camaro? Challenger? Let me know. Unfreaking believable YouTube. You are just ridiculous. That's all I gotta say. So I got an, uh, an email today from T-Man's Cart saying, Dude, have you seen this? And I'm like, seen what? And it's an article from... Uh, freaking the Hollywood Reporter about business. And basically, I'm going to show you the title. Really, YouTube? YouTube Mall's allowing original content partners to charge for subscriptions. Is YouTube really that hurting for money that they have to come up with another way to earn money? They've already partnered every freaking person out there. Anybody who makes videos, once you make 10 videos, you get the option for monetization. Sure, you only make, you know, pennies, but you got the option. She's freaking there. You know, now they want to charge for subscriptions? Like what? So Ray William Johnson, if you want to go to his channel, you got to pay $9.95 a month just to subscribe for two measly videos a week? Holy shit. This is stupid. You know, it'll probably be like $0.99 cents a month or some dumb thing. But I wouldn't pay to watch somebody on YouTube. You know, I got the people that I watch on YouTube right now that I like, and I think the only big group that I am sub to that I watch is Smosh. Why? Because they're freaking hilarious. But if I had to pay to watch Smosh, I wouldn't pay. I'd be like, all right, well, whatever. I'll get along without it. There's many other content creators out there that do pretty much the same thing that I can find that I can enjoy. You know, all the people I watch on YouTube are people who are trying or striving to grow, basically. So... Why the cock would I pay for friggin' subscriptions? Now, I know there's a bunch of people out there who probably will pay to watch Ray William Johnson or Smosh or freaking other people. But, um, honestly, I think this is going to hurt Ray's channel if he does this. And it could hurt, like, if uh, Shea Carl and the Shea Tards, if they start charging for subscriptions. CTFXC, you know, if they start charging. There's a lot of people out there who, A, won't want to pay. B, might not be able to afford to pay. You know, they're already making money off the ad revenue. Would you think that'd be good enough? If it's not good enough, then maybe they're doing something wrong because, I don't know. Like, and a lot of people say, well, they don't make money off ad revenue if you're in a network. Wrong. Wrong again. <laughs> if you're part of a network, the network has to pay YouTube. They have to pay YouTube. They have to pay their network aggregator. Like, they have to pay... The, the, those two people before they even get paid and we get paid. So I, I don't understand what YouTube is trying to do by charging for subscriptions. Like if it's a feature you can say yes or no to, you guys can damn well guarantee I'm saying no. You shouldn't have to, I shouldn't, you shouldn't have to pay to watch my video. I make them, I put them up, you watch them, you enjoy them, you hate them, you troll me, you love me, whatever the freak happens. But I'm not about to start charging for freaking subscriptions. Mind you, it's a good way to deal with trolls, eh? Yup, good way to deal with trolls. Good luck finding my videos if you have to pay 99 cents. You know what I'm saying? You gotta pay 99 cents for a month's subscription, so good luck trying to find my videos. But uh, I think that's kind of ridiculous. So on top of that, if they start charging for subscriptions, and then you go to said video and it's layered with ads, well, come on, you know? That's like double dipping, you know? You never double dip, freak sakes. This is ridiculous. I am not impressed by this one bit. Friggin' Google, come on. Don't have to be that stingy. Just saying, what do you guys think about this? Charger for subscriptions, are you with me? You think it's a good idea, a bad idea? I think it's a horrid idea. Let me know in the comments below. Today's video is all about leaving comments below. So go ahead, guys, and leave some freaking comments below. Well, freak sakes, it's like 10 after 3. I didn't get shit done today, but that's, you know, you're used to that. I gotta go off to work now. It being Thursday, tomorrow's Friday, which means it's flyer day, flyer day, and all that fun stuff day. So, anyway, enough of me being an idiot. Um, why is this door closed? Freak sakes. Son of a bitch, eh? Son of a bitch!
Yeah, I gotta head off to work, but I wanna go to Sobeys and get some food because I really want my chicken dinner for Thursday. Did I forget my pen drive in here? Why, yes, I did, Governor. Why, yes, I did, Governor. Whatever the freak that means. So, I'm gonna put my belt on, get my holster for the camera. Let's rock and roll. Alrighty, friggin' on my way over to Sobeys. Gonna get my Thursday chicken dinner on, friggin'. You know, I posted the question about the YouTube uh, subscriptions fee up on Facebook to see what kind of responses I get. And uh, one guy, Mr. Tony Sullivan from Sullivan Magazine posted, and this was actually a pretty good post. I like this one. I'd pay for a YouTube ad-free experience. You know, that makes sense. Instead of having one channel where you're, you're paying for it for an ad-free experience, why don't you make it like all channels are ad-free experience. Offer a monthly subscription, kind of like World of Warcraft, $11.95, or in some cases, $14, bucks, depending on how you pay for it. Because if you buy it in like a six-month period or a one-year period, you end up paying like 11 bucks a month for a year, or $13 a month for six months, or the full $15 a month for monthly or whatever it is. But offer the subscription based on that, but I think the objective is, is for partners who have a lot of success to maybe offer some sort of a service where they can make more money. Make, because, you know, that's what it's all about. Maybe like iTunes. You, know, you pay 99 cents for, for the app. The developer gets maybe 40 cents of that, or 50, whatever it is. And then Apple takes home some money too. But, I don't know, it's pretty dicked pretty dicked indeed. I don't think it's going to fly, but uh, you know, to each their own. There's a lot of people out there with a lot of money who just like to piss it away on stupid things. And uh, one of the stupid things they probably piss it away on is their favorite YouTuber. Because they want to watch them. If they got to pay to watch them, they'll pay to watch them. But I guess we'll have to wait and see what happens. So this weather is just completely dicked. It's three degrees out, so if it gets any colder, this rain's gonna turn into snow. I guess tomorrow's garbage day, so tonight, gotta remember to put the cans at the side of the road. Freaking get rid of all that garbage. I got a full can in the garage, and I got a full can at the door, so freaking send that shit out to the side of the road and get rid of my garbage. Yeah, good times, good times. Quarter after three now, so plenty of time. Holy shit. Wait for this, guys. There's an old bazoo coming. Look at this mean looking car. Frig yeah. He's sexy and she knows it. Sexy and she knows it. Sorry. Sorry for this individual. You get wet and it's cold out. You're not going to school tomorrow. You're gonna to be sick. Holy shit, bag Carolina truck. Um, I think they're waiting for me. I'm just gonna give her. Just gonna friggin' give her. This rain can go frig itself right in its friggin' arsehole. For the love of Chipotle, why does it have to rain all the time? Just saying. Stay there, Van. Okay. V6 Passat, V6 Passat. I like a 1.9 liter turbo diesel freaking Volkswagen. Then I could really afford to go to Billy's. Cause they get like 9,000 kilometers to a tank or something stupid like that. I don't think that's stupid mileage because we took one from Tomogamy to uh, Stratford and it was like ridiculously cheap. We got there, we still had like well, we burnt a three-eighths of a tank for the drive down, so that's kind of ridiculous. The Discovery Edition. Okay, I'm gonna go inside, get some food, and um, then we'll head to work, so I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Peace out. Alrighty, people, I have returned. Oh, where else was I gonna go, all right? All right, let's get the frig out of here. Oh, where are you going, school bus? This is not your turn off. 
Why are you coming through the Sobeys parking lot for freak's sakes? Oh, you son of a bitch. <sighs> well, it's 3.30 now, so... It's 3.30 now and I can't see out my windshield. You guys can, but I can't. I gotta put the Pro Defrost on the windshield and wait for this piece of shit truck to get out of my way so I can get the freak over here and not die. Perfect. We didn't die, people. All right, so now I just gotta kind of weasel my way through here like a bouse. Bring it. Red means go. Oh, what, what? Green means go? Red means to, oh shit. I apologize. Now you're allowed to turn right on a red. Trust me, I know things. I make videos, you know? <laughs> oh, freak sakes. Oh, one thing I friggin' hate is, and I usually do this and I'm usually pretty good for it, but this was a stealth ninja move that turned on me today, is when you go to a shopping center, like we'll say Sobeys, for instance, because it just happened to me there, or you know, no frills or whatever, and there's a lady in, usually when I go to pay, I always go and check all the tills to see what kind of people we have in the tills. See, women, they like to gab with the, with the person. Most of them do, and it happens all the time. Men just want to go in there, pay, get their change, and go. Women will find exact freaking change every damn time. Sure enough, I think I got the right till. These two guys, little did I know their wives were over looking at the freaking uh, the, the, the magazine racks. So when they got close, the first wife comes in, I'm like, shit. The thing came with the 468, so she's looking for exact freaking change. And for some reason, the till lady decided to type in that she was given exact change. Ended up she didn't give exact change. So they had to give her a 10 for, it was kept like 468. She didn't have 468, she had 460. She was missing the eight cents. She's so like, ah, freaking, I was paid with the 10. The lady's like, ah, you know, because she, she couldn't sit there and figure out that 540 is, is the other remaining freaking money, right? So sure enough, she's like, I have to override. Now, I guess it does make sense because the till keeps track of how much money's coming in and out. So if somebody gave you 460, you give you 540 back, and then when you did your count at the end of the night, so you'd have to override regardless. But she shouldn't have punched the money in until she had the money in hand. So she jumped the gun to try and cut corners, and in the end it came around bitter in the ass. So needless to say, they had to get a supervisor there with a key to do that. So that was about three, four minutes. And then the next person, same exact damn thing. She didn't learn from her lesson. She punched it in. The lady didn't have exact change. So she had to get another override done. This time when the customer service rep came over, she's like, we're going to need to talk after your shift because you're not doing this right. This is four times today that you've done this. Wait till you get the money and then punch it in. So she got shit. So, yeah. But normally I'll sit there and I'll look around. And if I see, even if it's a, a guy with a cart. See, see, men are impatient. I'm impatient. I know my dad's impatient. We like to, you know, when we're doing something, we like to just to freaking get her done, you know? Get her done as fast as possible so we can do other things. Where, so, it's just so, that the, so just judging by that, like, that's where I see, when I see a lineup of men, even with, large, with shopping carts loaded with food, I know they're gonna, they're not gonna mess around. They're not gonna sit there and have a conversation about their kids or, or anything they're gonna yeah is there, do you want a bag yes and the, as I was saying yes they're already like just shoveling the freaking counter full of food and you know the cashier just like ding 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 boom yeah your total is you know yeah 87 dollars boom debit why because why carry money you know friggin debit done paid let's go you know next next victim next victim next victim just keep rolling so I, I usually do that and it could be a long lineup of all dudes, and by the time I'm done, the lineup with the women in it is still sitting there, you know? And I don't know too many guys who have coupon-based scrapbooks or coupon books. I'm just saying. Not trying to be sexist, just pointing out the obvious. Guys don't care about coupon. I don't care about coupons. The only time I care about a coupon is if it's something I'm buying online and it's a coupon I can type in, and I might save 10%. But at the grocery store, I don't really give a shit about coupons. I go in and get my shit and get out. Is that unwise? Probably. Is that stupid spending? Probably. But 
I don't want to be in there all freaking day. I want to go get my shit and get out, you know? Ah, well, to each their own, to each their own. But I freaking hate being in a supermarket cashier line for too long because it drives me nuts, especially when they have the impulse buy shit sitting right there and I'm tempted to buy something stupid and I know I shouldn't, but I'm tempted because that's why they put that shit. You friggin' know it, I friggin' know it, everybody friggin' knows it. So, one thing I friggin' knows is rain can go to hell. Frag it, we're at work, let's park this bitch. The bitch has been parked. Alrighty guys, I'm heading inside and I'll talk to you guys whenever I talk to you guys next. Could be on a break, could be when I leave. I don't know, we'll see, later. Alrighty, well it's eight o'clock lunchtime. Wind's not too bad right now, but I can tell it's trying to pick up. North Highway got hammered with snow, big time. Lots of snow on the North Highway. Uh, Kirkland Lake is like completely white. Yup, winter's coming boys, you can smell it in the air. Like I said, if it drops any cooler, she's gonna freaking snow. But they're calling for like 14 degrees and rain on Sunday. Weather's just messed right up. But so far it's been a pretty easy going night at work, so it was pretty busy when we first came in, but like always, the taper's down at around eight o'clock. So yeah, there's not too much to report on, just been doing my thing, and uh, you know, that's about it. So anywho, I'm gonna probably uh, talk to you guys when I get out of here at midnight, because there's not much going on, so right on. Peace the frig out. Well, it's 10.30 at night, and we still haven't gotten snowed on. Look, still no snow, thank God. North Highway's covered just dicked you know snow's coming it's coming let's hope it lays off for the weekend so i can at least get one last mowing right just saying holy shit but the weather is definitely colder it's not good not good any hoozle i'm gonna head back inside talk to you guys when i get the freak out of this place peace out Alrighty, people once again it is freaking 12 o'clock at night i'm gonna go meet up with rex 4x4 at the hortons let's go apparently this person's horn sounds like my farts yeah, that's pretty damn close. That's a nasty fart. That's, that's pretty damn close to what I just did. Yup. You can see it. Oh, son of a bitch, people. First snowfall of the year, and <laughs> this guy over here is burping his face off. But uh, this is brutal. Like me. Son of a bitch, friggin' snowing. I hate that kind. All right, people, well, I'm home now, and as you saw, it did snow tonight. It didn't stick, but it did snow. So, winter's coming, which means I need to giddy up and get going on my garage. Frig sakes, good thing the weekend's here. So, probably gonna save that for fr for Saturday. So, yeah, I'll be busy out there, let me tell you. But on that note, I need to shut her down, call her a night. So if you like today's video, you know what to do, go ahead and hit the like button. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, you know where to leave them, comment section below. And until next time, guys, keep on vlogging. I was like, oh, okay. But a lot of people are signing with RPM because it's so easy to do that now because you just go through Social Blade. Socialblade.com, and if you apply for partner button is in the bottom, you click on it, and bam, you're a partner with a network, you know? Follow a couple mundane things like signing a contract and all that, and you're now a member of a network. So I was like, oh. And I'm like, how's that? And he goes, it's the best move I ever made. He goes, now I'm actually making more than I was running AdSense, where when he was with TGN, he was making less. So I don't know what the frig they're doing over there, but whatever it is, they're, they're not doing it right or something. I, I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. Yeah, I think I'm gonna make a change for once in my life, you know? But, um... I would just like the feature to see how I'm doing for the month, and I can't, so it kind of upsets me. So, frig it. It's gonna feel real good. It's gonna make a difference. It's gonna make you right. <laughs> I just butchered that song, eh? Frig sakes. So yeah, that's why, basically, when I said uh, I'm gonna be making a new intro soon, now you know the reason why, is because I'm leaving TGN. I've sent in my resignation letter, or email. I had, I wasn't in a contract with them, a one-year contract. If I stayed with them past uh, January 1st, 2013, then I would have been bound to a one-year contract with them. But uh, honestly, they're not giving me the tools I need. I asked them, I said, well, you said you'd promote my channel if you're going to par promote your partners. And the response I got back was, dude, you're not a gaming channel. There's no way we can promote you. I'm like, oh, okay, so because I'm not a gaming channel, you don't want to touch me. Right on. Love that kind. And now comes the explanation of skating games. See, a while back, something screwed up, and they accidentally released for one hour everybody's cost per mile. Their CPM, if you would. And... Um, a lot of the top gamers were getting a real shitty CPM of like 30 cents and 50 cents and stuff, and then my CPM came out, and I'm an IRL 